Hello and uh, welcome to my bonsai channel, Mars Bonsai. Uh, today I would like to uh, share with you my experience with the uh, black bag technique uh, for improving uh, success of collected Yamadori trees from the wild. Uh, I was um, for a long time I was wondering uh, how this technique works, if it's worth it to try or not. I was familiar with, uh, with it since Tony Tickle introduced it. I don't know if he was first or not. Uh, also, I've seen uh, videos of uh, successful application of this technique by uh, Harry Harrington. So this spring, when I was thinking about using it, I was searching available information on YouTube and uh, I find out also the video with uh, Mauro Sternberger, uh, possibly from uh, Neulander's Trophy, where he was explaining his um, way of applying of this technique. I liked the video, so I decided to give it a try. So this spring, um, I was thinking about collecting a few elms, uh, elm trees, which, uh, uh, which I would like to add to my collection. Uh, elms are really good trees, tiny leaves, very good bark. So, so I was thinking about finding uh, some trees uh, which, will be, which will be possible to use for, for broom style or, or something similar. Uh, it was partial success. Actually, I was collecting with my with my dog, and it was really really good fun. And um, a dog is uh, really helpful. He can uh, protect you in the wild from uh, aggressive uh, butterflies, for example. Is that to collect such a tree, you need like five minutes time, and the puppies. Uh, Attention span is 3.6, which is not great, but uh, not terrible. Yeah. I found uh, together nine trees, uh, which were all uh, then stored into black plastic bags like this one, and uh, you, you can see on, on this tree. And uh, according to Mauro's uh, technique, his uh, variant of this technique, I changed the bags on the trees when the shoots were 10 centimeters long, so, so I change it for transparent or opaque or translucent to, to, to better say, yeah, and, uh, and after one month they were in these bags, like you see on this tree. Almost all trees did fine, only one tree um, actually died, uh, eight trees survived and are doing really well. So uh, regarding, generally regarding collecting, I was potted them into mixture of uh, unorganic substrate. In my case, it's a mix of lava, zeolite, a uh, little bit of uh, rough peat, and added uh, slow release fertilizer. In my case, it's Osmocote, um, which, uh, in my opinion, helps trees uh, start uh, and give them food early on when they need it. Uh, so, um, so after potting them, I, I were storing them in the black bags uh, according to uh, recommendations, spraying them with water, not daily, um, uh, sometimes they don't need to, to be sprayed daily. I, I, was, I didn't have a feeling that I need to open the bag every day and, and spray it, especially in, in, during the cool days, it wasn't really necessary. So, so spraying them and very early on they showed uh, the, the signs of life. Um, it, it's, this technique definitely speeds up uh, recovery of collected tree. It's really fast. When I was comparing the growth and, and, and the awakening of the buds and, and shoots to, to, to elms outside on the same location where I was collecting uh, it was really faster, much faster, yeah? so, so they were responding really well. Uh, why I think the technique is really helpful, um, especially this spring was in our area, it was very wet and very cool. Uh, April was one of the coolest and wettest Aprils 
in, in a decade, maybe in a longer time. So, so it's during this, uh, after collecting, uh, for Yamadori, the aftercare is crucial. Uh, the collected tree is very vulnerable, so it's very good uh, to, to provide for the tree uh, higher humidity, uh, protection from the wind, uh, protection from the frost. This spring was unique. In this sense, uh, there was no night frost, very little freezing, sometimes maybe one, minus one, minus two, but, but very rarely. During the day, no frost. Uh, so it was almost ideal weather for collecting. And when we are speaking about timing of collecting Yamadori trees, many times the discussion uh, is only about spring or autumn is better or which which week or which month is really best. It, I don't think it's that simple and you need to, when collecting, generally speaking, you need to take into consideration what kind of weather was on the location you are going to collect trees from, what kind of weather was there last year and if it was wet here or very dry, it makes a lot of difference. The, when the previous year was very wet, the trees on that location will have enough stored energy and they are not weakened. For example, we had very dry year 2022. Uh, generally in our area was very dry, so, so it, it wasn't ideal. But in the spring we had a lot of rainfall uh, and, and the soil was wet and I think the trees were soaked with the water. So in this sense it's much better to collect the trees after the longer periods of uh, moist uh, weather and rainfall. Therefore, the trees are much stronger and are able to cope with the stress you are imposing on them when you are collecting them from the wild. So, um, uh, back to the technique. Uh, when the trees were uh, placed there after uh, after the, the collection, they were protected from all these uh, weather extremes. And as you can see, for example, on this one, this is still in the black bag. I wanted to stick to the recommendation and I wasn't changing the bag on the trees, which uh, the shoots shorter than 10 centimeters. So this one, is, uh, is doing well. I think we can safely say it's okay. It will be, it will be okay. It will survive. Um, most probably the new roots are there. Uh, I will add a few, uh, few uh, pictures and footage from the, the, the previous weeks where you can see that there are visible uh, emerging roots uh, from the base of the trunk. This is a, the trunk with rough bark and all which is down here will be removed and only the growth which is here uh, will be kept and possibly uh, if it will be successful it uh, will be styled in uh, traditional broom style. It's a long way to go but uh, it's promising material for this kind of, uh, for this kind of style. Uh, regarding the pots, uh, I would like to also uh, say that when you are potting Yamadori trees, it's really good to use tough pots because trees don't like transportation and moving too much. When they have really fresh new roots, be careful with moving them too much in softer pots. This is quite soft, so, so it's not so good, but the, the tougher plastic or wooden boxes or even the ceramic pots are better in this sense because when you are transporting them, they are much better in uh, protecting the, the fresh new roots from taking any damage. So this is about it. Uh, so I collected different size of trees. These are older ones, the smallest one or one of the smaller one, really good growth. Uh, it's outside of the bag already for about one week so it's doing really good and i think it's safe uh, the shoots are about 10 centimeters long um, it needs to be protected no direct sun no wind 
So it's staying in part of the garden where it's almost permanent shade, um, sunshine, direct sunshine only about uh, one hour a day and, uh, and it needs to recover. So it will stay in the shaded location for, um, for this season and all these collected trees will stay in the uh, shaded location. Um, uh, and uh, the trees in a, in a transparent bags, uh, these, these transparent bags are really good. I bought them in a DIY store. This is really tough plastic, uh, LDPE uh, plastic. And uh, you can see it's not uh, uh, not soft. It's very hard. And uh, and advantage is that you don't need uh, if if you use this kind of plastic, you don't need uh, any kind of uh, uh, support for keeping it, uh, even if in mild wind, it's able to stay on itself and protect the tree uh, from, from having any damage. Uh, of course, it's better to put some kind of protection with the wire, so new fresh growth if it's not damaged when the, there is a strong wind or, or your uh, dog or cat is uh, doing some crazy stuff. So the plastic is really good. After one month, uh, the transparent one, which allows some uh, light uh, reaching uh, the foliage and helping it recover. And with photosynthesis, it's able to produce its own uh, food. So you see this one is doing a little bit better. Also the same type of trunk, all these uh, bottom growth will be removed only the will be kept few shoots here and will be designed uh, as a potential broom also roots needs to be inspected and maybe it will be air layered maybe not One uh, recommendation regarding the plastic, uh, it's, it's good to punch the few holes in the bottom of the plastic. Why? Because uh, what my experience is when I was watering them in April, in early May, uh, and, and you are pouring the water on them uh, and keeping them moist, you sometimes, if you don't have a holes, uh, there are big puddles of the water on the bottom of the plastic. So punching few holes, uh, is helping it and the, the water will just drain out. I think it has absolutely uh, no, in, in no way it is uh, affecting the functionality of the plastic. So this is about it. And uh, I think it's really useful technique. It's helping the trees recover much faster. It's, uh, it's really helping trees to protect them uh, from the extreme uh, weather and helping them keep uh, uh, helping them uh, keeping the, the moisture inside uh, next year i'm going to try it on much tougher beasts like hawthorns so i'm going to collect a few much larger trees maybe something much bigger like the elm on uh, uh, on that side uh, so, um, so we will see, yeah. In my case, hawthorns are much tougher to collect and they sprout, but they are very easily uh, to die very soon in May or in June when they are not protected. Uh, they, they can really, uh, really not make it. 
that's all for today thank you very much for watching if you liked the video if you like the content uh, give a like and leave a comment or even subscribe to my um, new channel and i think uh, this is the end i hope uh, it's not uh, the beginning of the end but just end of the beginning thank you very much for watching